Hello everybody and welcome back to MNJ Games. I am Michael and today we're going to be looking at something a little different because we're going to be looking at a, um, a site and kind of showing you how it works that allows you to stream computer games if you don't have the computer that has a, ca a capability of doing it. So me for example, um, I've wanted to play Planet Zoo uh, or even Planet Coaster on the PC. I don't, I, my PC, if I open it, literally sounds like it's about to explode just from opening the game. It works very well using this platform. Um, you know, there might be just a tad bit of a lag every once in a while, but that is much better than the alternative of not being able to play it at all. So as you can see, um, 800 plus games. They got a lot of the games scrolling down here. Um, first thing that I want to talk about, though, is the membership. There are two different options. The first one is free, which means you have standard access. Um, so you're put in what's called a waiting room. And I think it's for that individual game, how many players are waiting to be allowed access to that individual game. I've never waited more than five minutes, so it's really not a big deal. Um, the, the biggest issue is you can only play for one hour at a time. They don't kick you back out, and you got to re-log in. But you, you could, like, re-log in instantly. You don't have to wait an amount of time. Now, I'm part of the priority group. I decided to give it a try. Paid $10 a month. You can cancel it any time. You are given access right away. You can play up to six hours. I don't really know too much about RTX, to be honest, um, just because I've never really been much of a computer gamer um, compared to consoles. But yeah, so those are the two options. Um, I know there's another company that's working in some areas and coming out pretty soon, but that one's like 30 bucks. This one's 10. So I don't know kind of how these two are going to compare. Um, but then if you look at games, you know, here's a list of all the games that are supported. So not every single game that you can get on Steam is supported, like the EA, EA Sports games or EA games or not. So the Sim series is not supported. City Skylines is on here, um, wherever City Skylines, either on Epic or Steams. The ones that I care about are Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo. And so if you look down here, we see Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo both work, okay? Um, so there's a lot of different games, you know, Assassin's Creed games and so forth. So what you'll need to do is you'll go download. You will then click on whether you're playing on a Windows or Mac and download it. Once you download, you know it's going to save to the desktop um, and it's going to save to your applications. I created a shortcut to where I could just click on the individual game. Um, so let me show you how that works. So now I'm just going to click here on GeForce Now. And we're going to load this up. So if you download a shortcut to the actual game, what it's going to do is it's going to actually load you into the game right away. Here it's not doing that. Um, what I'm going to do though, once I kind of go over this next part, is I'm going to show you Planet Zoo and Planet Coaster. We'll start with Planet Coaster and show you how they both run. Um, so first thing you'll need to do is, you see how it says one or two accounts connected. If you go up here, and you click on settings, it'll show you um, what connections you have. So anytime you update your Steam account or Epic's account, you just have to resync it. That's all you gotta do. And then you'll go back to the games section right here. And so this shows the games that you played. Um, this one I didn't actually play, I just clicked on. Or you can find games in the store, and if you click on here, like for example, if we click like, let's say um, Sims, you see no results. So just because it might be on Steam or something doesn't mean you can play it on here. So if you actually look the game up here, that will actually tell you which games are available to be played. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with playing a coaster and I'll see you guys once the game loads up. All right guys, so as you can see, we're now starting up Planet Coaster. And there probably is gonna be a little bit of a lag once it starts and that's because of Theme Maker's Toolkit items being downloaded. Um, and I'll kind of explain that. All right, so you can see there's definitely a lag here. Um, and the first time I opened this up, there wasn't a lag. Um, but I was loading up a Nerd Chacho Park and it asks, and I'll show you kind of what that does in a second. So if you go here to My Parks, Downloads, 
and you see how it's got these different ones. If you click on one of them, let's click on this one for example. It's gonna say Cedar Point UK, start new. Okay, that one, so this one doesn't have any Theme Maker's Toolkit on it. Um, but the other ones that do, if you click on it, um, and it's asking about Theme Maker's Toolkit, what's gonna happen is it's gonna ask you to download them. And if you download them all, it's going to cause your game to run a little bit slower. Now, you probably, the better internet you have, the less it will lag and so forth. Um, but so we'll see kind of as this loads. One thing that's really cool, though, is that this does give us the option to play it. Is for those of us who don't have a PC that's capable of doing this, this option is still better than not having the option of playing it. All right, so as you can see, here is the park, and I mean, not really a lag, right? I mean, you might have it every once in a while, but this is this is running really well, really smoothly. Um, really interesting, um, and I'm still learning the controls on this guy, so it is it is new for me. Um, interesting design with the coaster there at the entrance station and so you've got like this initial walkway and so the whole point of this is for me to kind of show you how we can still play this on the PC and this is a massive park and it's running it's running okay right it's it might not be perfect as well as some gaming PCs but at the end of the day um, not all of us are have that PC or have been playing PC right and so uh, that's really cool so you can kind of see here, is this a wing coaster? Looks like it might be, so let's ride that coaster. Galactica. So we can kind of see the idea of, of how it looks. So I guess we're Oh, that's really slow right there. <laughs> okay, so I think Galactica at Alton Towers has those kind of rings, um, if I'm remembering correctly. All right, so pretty cool ride and theming. Uh, so let's exit out of this. Yeah, so let's just kind of look around real quick and then we'll move on to looking at Planar Zoo. But as you can see, I mean, it hasn't, it lagged that one time on the coaster, but overall, I mean, I'd say it runs pretty well. Um, and you guys can be the judge of that. Let me know what you guys think. Um, you, okay, there's a little bit of a lag right there. But as you can see, this is a massive park. This is a park bigger than anything we can do on console, us for, or that us console players would want to do. Um, so it's really cool that we're able to do this. So now I'm going to log out of this, and we're going to um, look at Planet Zoo. All right, guys. So as you can already see right away, there's no lagging. There's nothing that we had as the intro to Planet Coaster. Um, and that's because there's no toolkit items, at least from my understanding. Um, so, but I want to show you real quick is if you want to record through this, I meant to say this before, you hit Command and G, and it pulls it up here. As you can see, I'm already recording. So you just press this button here. You can turn your microphone on to where it picks up a microphone while you're talking. But to me, that kind of distorts either your audio or the background audio. So I'm just recording separately to my computer um, through QuickTime audio compared to doing it this way um, and then recording the video separately. And I'll show you at the end how you can find the videos um, in, a, in a folder because to me it's a little tricky, um, but not too bad. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to pull up a desert zoo 
Um, and this is just one that I pulled up. Not that I've ever done anything in it, but just to kind of get used to controls and some stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so first of all, I mean, the graphics in this are just awesome. Um, this game has so much more depth to it than Planet Coaster did in terms of the exterior portion um, of the game. And, you know, I'm also hoping to get in. Um, I think my wife and I are going to switch internet providers and um, um, TV companies soon because I feel like our internet's not as good as it should be for what we're what we have. Um, but yeah, so I mean, as you can see here, pretty cool. I also turned the sensitivity down just because I'm, while well, I'm getting used to this controller and stuff. Um, so if we pull up, like, let's just say Habitat. Um, yeah, so, you know, pretty easy. And one thing I do like about this for anybody who hasn't played this game um, before, um, and we've just played, let's just say we've been playing on the computer. Um, so if you hit shift and down, well, that's not, probably not a great one to do that with. But if you hit shift and the up arrow, it'll move it up or move it down. And then, but what I like about it though, is once we place it, um, so let's see, I know there's different buttons you can press. I'm still kind of getting used to all this. So that's actually not, a, not with the ground. I know there's another button, but there we go. So now what we can do is if we click on this, um, and let's say we want to advance move. I love this a lot more than the computer version. You just click on there and you can move it that way. Um, I feel like it's a lot more precise than the computer version or than the um, console version with Planet Coaster, but that's pretty cool, yeah. So now one thing, one last thing I want to do here um, is I'm trying not to make this video too terribly long, but I want to um, go to a zoo. Okay, yeah, so if you click Load Zoo, it doesn't allow you to actually load up anything that you've downloaded from the workshop. So let's go back to the main menu. All right, so if we go to my zoos, you can see if I go here to, not franchise, sandbox, Steam Workshop. Oh, no, wrong button. Um, this button right here, downloads. Well, it looks like I don't have any. I thought I had a couple downloaded. Maybe not. Um, but yeah, so what you can do is if you click Steam Workshop, it'll pull up the Steam Workshop, and you can click on different things. Like, ooh, that's pretty awesome looking so like for instance this one right here Aurora Zoo let's just say this one you could download that um, and so forth so then now if you want to click here return to the game you know it might pop up or might take a second so if we exit out um, there we go if we go back here say my zoos downloads yeah okay so um, that one I just downloaded didn't show up but let's click on this one real quick so play is sandbox. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to show you how does it compare to Planet Coaster, right? In terms of with the size of it and so forth. Um, and I think they're pretty, works pretty well. So for those of us who don't have a computer that can play this, we have no way of playing Planet Zoo. So this is better than, than not being able to play it. All right, so as you can see here now, it says the animals in this zoo will age five times slower than normal. Okay, so um, this is a pretty good sized zoo. Um, I'm sure it's not that massive compared to other ones, but this is one thing that's so cool to me about this game compared to Plant Coaster is the, like I said on the desert map, just the outer world is so much more detailed, um, whereas in Plant Coaster it just kind of like disappears <laughs> and the coloring changes and so forth. Um, but I'm not about to look at those 55 different messages right there. But yeah, as you can see, um, you know, runs pretty well. Um, you know, as I've said before, I'm sure the, the better the internet connection you have, the, the better this will run. Um, but I'm really happy with, you know, with kind of playing through this. Oops. So I kind of jumped. Like I said, still getting used to some of the controllers. So, and here we've got... Is that a oh the cute little elephant so cute that's Jasmine's favorite she loves the elephants and hippos um, but that's really cute baby elephant and so this is um you know like I said I turned the sensitivity down let's, let's zoom back out a little bit um, 
but yeah, so it looks it looks really nice. Um, and like I said, I just wanted to kind of run through this program with you um, because I know I'm sure a lot of people are like me and in the boat of the fact that we don't have a computer that can that can compute it. Um, so this is a good alternative. You know, it's not it's not perfect, but it's better than not being able to play it. Um, so one last thing to do, and that's to show you how to get to your videos. So I'll see you guys in a second on my desktop. What you need to do is go to applications, and you need to type in specifically like this. Is if you just do GeForce like that, it it pops up. It doesn't pop up what you're looking for, right? So if we type in GeForce. What that does is that pulls up your folders here for GeForce Now. I forget which one it is. No, nope, not that one. It's the other one. Um, so it's this first one right here. And now there's three different options because these are the three games that I've recorded a video in. You got Planet Coaster, the one we just did. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag that to my desktop. And then we got Planet Zoo, and it's the most recent one, which is probably, looks like this one. No. Yeah, I'm just trying to check and see. Yep, this one right here. Which I don't know why I didn't put it in order, but so there we go. So these are, I'm going to go ahead and delete these because those don't mean anything right now. And yeah, so just remember what you had to do is type in GeForce with the capital letters and click on that file. So now you've got your files on your computer and you can edit them, do whatever you need to do with them. Um, so I hope this video is helpful. Um, I hope it's not too long to where it didn't keep your attention. But I just wanted to not just not only show you what this program was, but show you how it worked with different games that require um, require a really good computer normally to play. So if you have any questions or concerns or any thoughts, please, I'd love to hear your thoughts below. And as always, um, I really appreciate you watching the video and hit that like button if you enjoyed this. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.